It worked out pretty well, all things considered, right? Yeah, it was It became a good very time. obvious we were not going to make it home. Mm -hmm. You always have to have a contingency plan. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> we're going out to a fly-in at a place called Amboy, California, which is along classic Route 66. It's not really a charted airport. There's like a dirt strip there. A friend of ours is holding a, a fly-in there. We're going to go out there and uh, have a little fun, Should see some airplanes, fun. meet some people. We have to dress extremely warm today. <laughs> it might be cold at altitude. It looks like it's going to be maybe a little chilly upstairs, so we'll see if Juliet freezes her butt off. <laughs> we have an intercom now, so we can talk to each other, and she can tell me uh, Sweet nothing. how freezing she is <laughs> and how much she hates this. <laughs> No, I'm just Not kidding. true. Not true. So we're gonna get in the air. We're ready. We're gassed up. We're ready to go. Here we go to Amboy, California. She's ready for the day. Hello friends! We just flew for just short of two hours non-stop in the Peyton Fall. Mm -hmm. One hour, 50 minutes to the wonderful 29 Palms where we took on some gas and now we're going to take off and fly our final leg up to Amboy. Have some, some potato chips. And potato chips. We have our Peyton Pole hairdos. <laughs> How was the, uh, the long time in the Peyton Pole? Was it good? Mm. It wasn't that bad, actually. I thought it was gonna be, when you're flying for that long, you, you have, your butt starts to cramp up. <laughs> we have a case of sore butt. Yeah. Both of us. That... It shouldn't be more than 30, 40 minutes on this leg, so. Mm -hmm. And boy, here we come.
Place Motel and Cafe on Historic Route 66 in Amboy, in Amboy California. California. Only three hours of flying. We've got lots of cool planes, lots of cool people, and some uh, rock and tins. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go check it out. This will just explain everything. <laughs> Looks like I have a antlers growing out of my head. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. We, we're back at our hotel oh room. God, it's like a rat's nest. Mine's perfect. Listen to the watch ticking. What is that? It's the official chronometer of the pin pole. The chronometer. 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 Oh my god. We're tired because we had a long day of flying in the feet and pole. We did. So we're gonna crack open a hot bottle of wine to celebrate the fact that we made it to <laughs> the Super 8 in Yucca Valley. Yes. And you know, from today's flight, we've earned this cup. And another, and another. <laughs> We've earned wine in a paper cup at Super 8. <laughs> because we are so great aviators. Thank you, Winnam 
rewards. Windam. Windam. John Claude Windam. Windam Ham. Windam Ham. Windham. Windham. You can't spell Windham without ham. Nice. Duh. Mmm. <laughs> it mm. smells of uh, processed paper. <laughs> Here's to surviving uh, Juliet's longest flight in the bean bowl. And bed bugs. So how are you feeling? Tell us about your day. Oh my god. We started at Fallbrook and we spent basically three hours getting to Amboy. Mm-hmm. It was a long flight. <laughs> It worked out pretty well, all things considered, right? Yeah. It, it became very flight. obvious we were not going to make it home. So mm -mm. you always have to have a contingency plan. Mm -hmm. So we saw the Yucca Valley Airport, and I said, hey, Google and see if there's any hotels in Yucca Valley. <laughs> and luckily, since we're in the peat, we fly low enough to get cellular from the space. Yeah, we uh, got cellular from the space and uh, it told us that we had an opportunity to be at a motel. Yeah, and here we are. Yeah. That's part of uh, our flying adventures is being willing to be flexible and figure out the plan. So we met Dave Palacios. We did. Who gave us a ride into town. But yeah, he was awesome. Um, aviation is full of people who are always willing to help. Not only did we meet Dave and his lovely wife, Sandy, mm -hmm. and his adorable dogs, um, we also met Rick, who is his neighbor friend. He lives in a caboose. It's pretty rad. I'm jealous. Yeah, he, he worked for the Santa Fe Railroad in this caboose at one point and somehow acquired it and turned it into his house. Mm -hmm. And he parked it at the airport. Yeah, that's I'm like just realizing <laughs> this is my pipe dream, to live in a caboose at the airport. I knew you were going to say that. We wish we'd been able to camp now. I know. We can't get camping gear in there. Well, and I feel the like two we, of us. I feel like we could. We just have to master Just without it. the pilot. <laughs> no. Because you can't put it behind you, right? Mm -mm. There's no way. No, it's going to take a, a feat of engineering. We could strap it to the strut. Strap it to the strut. Well, cheers to a great day. Cheers. Tomorrow we uh, fly the rest of the way home. Me. We're trying to be somewhere on time. <laughs> when you get in an airplane, you have to go somewhere on time. <laughs> Everything will conspire against you to arrive at your scheduled time, at your destination. The rule of aviation, time to spare, go by air. There's a oh, piece yeah, of gum for you. 
Hold on, we need some barnstormer gum. That's if we spring a leak. Here we go. Oh, parts are on the plane. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> 